You need a hand with that? No, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. Yeah. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. I think I saw one back in the shed. Let's go check. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. I guess Marianne left us something useful, huh? Yeah. We still have to find a way to get inside, though. And please, no broken windows. We'll see ya. What's happening? Do you feel that? And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. <laughs> you were thinking the same thing, you just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa. Did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. See the silent frog coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. So. Which one of you- Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. He said the silent frog. Nice job keeping a secret, buddy. this box here it looks brand new it wasn't me has someone been out here recently guess it's your lucky day bird friends got it all this for a screwdriver you got a better idea how to get in I'll take that as a no At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first.
You need a break already, Ronan? No, just sitting. Enjoying the view. Seriously, how are you feeling? Tired. I didn't sleep much last night. Yeah. I can't believe how we used to run around for hours without stopping. Yeah. Always a troll to run away from. Or a treasure to find. We definitely never lacked imagination. Marianne didn't either. It was the one thing that brought us all together. Even in the end. She told a new story, didn't she? That night? It was... weird. She built this bench, right? If you're trying to scare me off so you can steal my seat, <laughs> it won't work. No, I just remember us all sitting here after. I fell asleep and woke up really stiff later. I don't remember us sitting anywhere for more than a few seconds, which sounds exhausting now. Guess we're just old. At least we've got a few more years before we're... As old as her. Come on, that's enough rest for us. Let's get inside. All right. Oh, that was a... We need to talk achievement. That was nice. Oh. Looks like a neighbor came by. It's funny. I can't remember any signs of them when we were kids. Probably because our mother scared the shit out of them. Yeah. She scared everybody else off, too. Want to go out there? No, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I want to go out there. Where do I put this bird? Bird. No beavers. Too bad. A picture of them would have helped with the sale. Yeah. City people love cute furry animals. Teeming with wildlife. But not the kind that eats the insulation. Full of unique psychotic memories. Comes pre-haunted, so you can live out your paranormal investigator fantasy. Yep. <laughs> yep. We should do this for a living. Yes. Yes, we should. forest is so cool, like some elven kingdom. Our hidden domain, far away from the stress of the modern world. So is fireweed, in its own way. I didn't have to deal with pumping gas and buying groceries, paying rent. Is my brother feeling a little unfair? <laughs> Things were so simple when we were kids. The house, the lake, the woods. It was all right here. Everything we needed. Not everything. There's always trade-offs. And what you lose in trees, you gain in cool people, modern medicine, hot food. Cool. Sure. All that's nice. But are they needs? Remember how whenever we lost our toys in the sand, we thought the mad hunter had stolen them? How many sand castles did we build with this? None that survived. Aw. Uh, you're out of your element, little guy. How do you know? Maybe he's a snowfish. Mm. Hey, I think that's the same rake I cut my foot on. Wait, your foot? Wasn't that me? What? Oh, yeah. I think you're right. We thought this sandbox would hide us from the mad hunter, remember? That's right. The sand was, what, supposed to distort his piercing eye? The sandbox was one of her best ideas. 
Remember how she made it magically appear Christmas morning? Yeah. <laughs> Somehow she kept us in the house all day. That must have been tricky. Seriously. I mean, Santa and baby Jesus weren't exactly her thing. She did it for us. Yeah. It's probably the only belief she ever compromised on. These birds should get a reward for watching the house all these years. Thank you for your service, little friends. Aww. I didn't get an achievement for that. Phooey. <laughs> but I did get more story. I did do that. I did get a little bit more story this time. Are you sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Okay, down there. Tyler? Ah! <laughs> That's not funny! <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. All right. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. What, you scared? <laughs> I suppose you remember how to get to the hatch. Uh, I think so. We'll figure it out together. Straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. even in your dreams. Then left again after the goblins. I want secrets. Nope. It was on the right. My bad. 